Hi friends. I am here to make some more jewelry with you. We made a necklace before. We made a necklace out of Fruit Loops or Cheerios. Well now we're gonna make a different kind of one out of straws. So what you'll need for this is straws and string and scissors. This is good practice for using scissors. That's also what this is for. It also might help depending on your type of string. Uh, this type of string kind of comes apart real easily. If you have some tape that you can just wrap around the tip of the string just to make it easier uh, for it not to fray. So here is the start of what we're going to do. We're going to cut the straws all the way down along them into kind of smallish pieces. So not so small that uh, they are like teeny tiny, but just smallish pieces. So we're gonna start by holding our scissors the right way. Your thumb goes in the little hole and it goes on top. Your other fingers go in the bigger hole and they go on the bottom. Sometimes it helps to draw a smiley face or put a sticker on a kid's thumbnail so that you can look down, see the smiley face and know that you're holding them the right way. So I've got my elbow at my side, my scissors pointed forward, and I'm gonna cut. Here's the fun thing about straws. When you cut them, they shoot off in all directions. So we might have to do some straw collecting after we do all of this cutting. So I'm gonna snip, snip, snip. I don't even, even know if you can see these, but they are flying, snip. Snip. That one flew out at you. Snip. 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 Oops. Snip. And I've got this last little beast. Woo, those went flying everywhere. All right, I've got different color straws, so I'm going to cut up my other straws too. Snip. 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 <laughs> Snip. You might have to even pause it to see these go flying. They're going flying off into the distance. Snip. Snip. All right. Now I've got some green ones. I'll have to go collect these all in a minute. Last one I'm going to cut up is my blue straw. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I like that I have all these straws that are different colors so that um, I can make some different color decisions for my necklace or bracelet that I'm gonna make. All right. Well, I've got some of these pieces here, but most of my pieces went flying everywhere. So I gotta go get some. Oh man, they all flew back here behind the computer. I have a lot of straw pieces. I think I probably cut each straw into maybe 10 or 12 pieces, something like that. I can count here in a second. All right, I think I found all of them. I'm gonna start by sorting out my colors and counting which ones of which I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 blue pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 pink pieces. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 green pieces. Wow, I cut them each into 11s and I didn't even mean to. All right, now I'm going to cut off a piece of string. You can make it long if you want this to be a necklace, or you can make it short if you want this to be a bracelet. Either way, you could kind of measure it around your arm or your neck and make sure that it's the right length. So, this will probably be a part to have an adult help you with. I'm gonna start by putting one through one piece and then tying it in a knot. That will help it not fall off. Uh, it will help the other ones not fall off and it helps it make it big enough that they won't fall off. So I string one through one piece of straw and then tie it in a knot. See, I have that one on the end of the string. 
All right. Now you can wrap some tape around the tip of the string to help it not fray. That's what I'm going to do. But you need very little because um, otherwise it won't fit through the straws because they're pretty skinny. So I'm just going to put a tiny little piece of tape at the tip to help keep the string from fraying. That's what it called what what it's called when the string gets kind of frizzed up and 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 the pieces of it are kind of sticking out in every direction. So now I'm going to make my necklace. I've got a blue one. I'm going to put on a green one. I think that because mine are different colors, I will make them in a pattern. Maybe. I'll do blue, green, pink, green, blue, green. I'm going to run out of greens faster this way, though. Pink. Green, blue, there's so many different things that you could do with this. I like how it makes it kind of a tube, but the tube is all different colors. I think it looks cool. Some kinds of straws have stripes on them, or some kinds of straws, um, are just white. So there's lots of different ways that this could end up looking based on what kind of straw you're using. Some of these pieces are a little bit longer and it's hard to get the string to go all the way through them. If that happens, then you can kind of hold the string back a little bit further and hold the piece and aim it so that it goes in and then push it from further back so that it goes all the way through. See? It can be tricky sometimes when you're learning how to put things on strings. So it's okay if it takes a little bit of time or if you need to ask for help. If you make a bracelet, then um, it would be much shorter than a necklace and that might even be easier. I'm going to keep putting on some blue ones. I'm doing, I was, I got quiet there for a second because I was thinking about the pattern that I was doing, but I don't think that it's much of a pattern anymore. Now I think I'm just doing the ones that I like, which is also a good way to do it. Hmm. Ooh, this one's really long. I must have cut this one early when I wasn't sure how big or how small I should make them yet. So they work a little bit better, I think, if you make them a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Now I'll know for next time. The next time that I make one, it'll be even better. Ooh, I might run out of string. I didn't think that would happen. Let's find out. I'll see if I get to the end of the string or the end of my straws first. I do not know. Let's see. There we go. I got it. That one was tricky to get on over the string. But I kept working on it. Oh, this one too. Just keep working on it and keep pushing. There we go. All right. Sometimes, sometimes I don't get things right the first time. And it takes me a little bit of work to get it, to get it to go. But that's okay. All right. Last one. I did have enough string after all. Make sure that you leave some string at the end because you will have to tie a knot. Wow. This is a really long necklace. And then your mom or your dad or the adult who takes care of you can tie one more knot in it so that it will stay on the string and so that it will be in a necklace or in a bracelet. All right, I'm tying a knot for mine. And ta-da, a whole necklace. 
I like the kind of sound that the straws make while they're like shifting against each other. Let me show you. Do you hear that kind of like... A whole necklace. It kind of, um, they kind of make zigzags the way that they bump up against each other. It's just a cool, a cool piece of jewelry. I like this necklace. I'm happy that I made it with you. I had lots of fun playing with you today. Um, maybe next time that we talk, then you could show me the necklace or bracelet that you made. Maybe you could wear it. So, I will see you later. I had fun playing with you today. Talk to you later. Bye.